Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. We talk about makeup, skincare. Today we're going to be talking about um, castor oil. <laughs> and okay, let's start. Let's let's start from the beginning. I recently made a video. Uh, it was titled everything that's wrong with castor oil and why it didn't work out for me after two years why I stopped using it I need to clarify something there I do not hate castor oil I still have castor oil I just like don't use it reason being I just found other things that work better and produce better results for my skin so in that video which i made everything that's wrong with castor oil why it didn't work out for me i people were puzzled by all the different kinds of way i had used castor oil and i think i did not clarify that video is a little bit longer but i didn't talk about my skin type i did not talk about uh, my skin conditions and all the issues I had with my skin especially in the past year so that the last year especially made me believe strongly believe that castor oil is not the answer for everything castor oil is just not and it did not really help me with any of the skin conditions or issues and problems I had with my skin last year so let's break this down right that's why we're here today this video is about my skin type and all, all I'm gonna break down uh, my skin issues and all the problems that I had to where I had to rush to the doctor I had seen dermatologists so many times last year uh, and what things have actually helped for those conditions and instead of castor oil so I have to say I used castor oil for two years for the first year I was jumping up and down with joy I have included castor oil so many times in my favorite videos end of year the roundabout ra, wait roundabout um you know like what what am I saying I'm just I'm, I'm just moving my hand no words coming out okay um best in beauty end of year favorites I've included castor oil so many times but the reason I just don't talk about I'm Believe me, I'm not spewing hate right now with uh, on castor oil. It's just I, like I said, it doesn't work for everything. Everything that people say on the internet that it works for, it just didn't for me at least. And yeah, okay. So let's talk about my skin type. My skin type is a combo skin type where I do get oily here in the T section, but uh, in the colder months. I get dry patches all over the skin. I dry, get dry patches here because I get like runny nose and I'm like wiping my nose and blowing my nose. So I get dry patches here around my nostrils, like actual dry skin peeling off. And then the corners of the mouth will get so dry that I would it'll start bleeding or it'll start it's it's it it, it hurts. It hurts and um and then what else the eyelids as you can see i love makeup i'm a makeup girly so a lot of these skin problems interfered so much with my love for makeup and my makeup application there's that but even if i didn't right so anyways get back to the dryness right and then i had severe dry skin this would come like a school bell rings a strike of 8 30 or whenever the school starts right when the first day of fall autumn strikes and then i get this serious dryness on my eyelids like it would be uneven it would basically feel like just like i don't know just like sandpaper basically that's it i my eyelids would feel like sandpaper not just eyelid this area this v area and the spot where my upper lid and my lower lid touches just this place would actually get so dry it would start burning i'm talking about extreme dryness just in spots not my entire face not my entire body just spots so and then what else um lower lash line too uh in all of these lines 
would get so dry that it you would have like like dryness just uh, covered one on on top of the other it would look again like sand, sandpaper it it could feel the texture my there was a point when my face my entire face felt like sandpaper it was so rough that being said so the uh, most of the shoes came only like last year but like i said i've been using it for two years right so first time i used for the first year i didn't really have any skin problems so i was i mean castor oil was at height at its height of glory in my life right in my uh, skincare routine but when more and more problems came i have to say i was actually using castor oil when these problems started coming like extreme dryness yeah and I, I was quite disappointed i was so disappointed that castor oil just did not help i was already using castor oil and castor oil just did not do anything but something i noticed was the areas of the skin like i said i have like combination skin my whole face wasn't feeling that way uh so in areas where there was no problems my skin felt amazing but in areas where there were problems castor oil just did nothing so what really helped what was like proper solution i'm talking about overnight change i mean uh, dryness just do not vanish or anything overnight but at least 25 percent of the eczema and all the dry skin was gone and then the night after like i'm serious so two two things came to my rescue one is drunk elephants lippy i think i don't think that they had this in mind when they formulated this product but this is actually a lip balm and it's so expensive so expensive you get only how much you know i'm telling you hang on you get only 3.7 grams that is like a lipstick imagine like a lipstick sized lip balm anyways uh i go through uh these things like crazy and these are 18 dollars each and these honestly they're not very sustainable because you get so little and for my dry skin and dry uh, area and like i said it's not like a once uh you know one day thing um dry the dry uh seasons last for what like six months yeah and then i have to put this on for six months like not every day but at least like spot treat and I mean it would kind of get less and less the areas where, where which i need to but still i would need to kind of maintain the areas that have been healed so the dryness does not come back so this used to be my go-to but then i also discovered another thing which is vaseline <laughs> so inex uh inexpensive but so effective you do not need a whole lot this is just regular just the original healing jelly it really is a healing jelly it nothing like this but the thing is what it, this does not cr create moisture you put the moisturizer on whatever it is on top of that you have to put this the uh, vaseline on and then it kind of locks you are set for like 24 hours or what, whatever it promises honestly it doesn't promise anything it just without do saying much it just does its joy if you have serious condition serious skin dryness do not go to castor oil use vaseline use it little by little see how your skin takes it if you need more or if you need less but this is seriously result giving product this is why i said so a lot of people are confused what because i was telling them in that video you know what, what's uh, what's wrong with castor oil i said um i even used it during the day and everyone was puzzled they were like amused like i've never heard of this using it in the daytime no if you had my eczema my crazy eczema where i really wanted i don't think it was a makeup because i still use the same eyeshadow same a mascara eyeliner and everything as you can see i still have it but it was just uh yeah i wanted to put makeup or not during the day it was like insane and i couldn't 
I wanted to do something. I really believe that because a year before, like I said, when I did not have any skin problems, everything worked out like beautifully. And I was like talking, singing praises about castor oil. So I wanted to really see if castor oil would help me if I used it daytime. That's why, because the eyelids was crazy, going crazy. So dry skin, eczema, this is it. Now, if you have any like uh, skin barrier, like breakage, that also can trigger like serious like flare up of eczema. And what I'm saying is just like dry skin here. Yes, it is like itchy. It's not exactly itchy to be honest. The ones I was describing, those dry patches, it's only hurt. It it like a break. It almost like cracks the skin and breaks and it hurts. But I'm talking about eczema where it like really itches that also happened to me last year i'm telling you i went to the doctor so many times so please go see a doctor if you really have such a flare-up because nothing is gonna help coconut oil is not gonna help castor oil is not gonna help because these are just oils oils are not meant to just stay in the skin oils do not really absorb that deep into the skin at all they give that superficial softness they creates that that's literally the one thing that uh, castor oil does consistently is soft it makes the skin soft if your skin is already good it makes it soft but if there is a problem it does nothing because that's not what it's meant to do it's just one function you know what i mean it's just meant for that one function so for my skin barrier repair i also had that all over my arms it's actually was uh predominant where my arm and my shoulder like where the armpit that that area and then all over my arms it's so good i tried castor oil okay every issue i'm talking about i tried castor oil just fyi it just did not work i had to actually look for proper real remedies from a doctor and the vaseline also from like vaseline i kind of like doubled is that the word doubled around and then i like voila it was like a super duper hit and then i researched about vaseline okay epi serum is the one this is something you would have to talk to your doctor about if you really have uh, that skin barrier problems because that's where all the problems stem from if your skin barrier is, is properly he properly healed and it properly functions if it, it works like clockwork everything else kind of like works out by itself then castor oil usage would like blow your mind like because everything's already working well and that skin softener is going to be like the cherry on top like seriously that's when it's going to be like you're gonna feel the magic of castor oil but the reason the second year of usage i did not feel because i really had actual problems and castor oil does not solve those problems so just i want to reiterate that so the skin problem second is uh like actual eczema where the itching and the uh, the skin itself like kind of like changed and it was so different i was like i was horrified <laughs> so epi serum is this what the my doctor prescribed and i just use it this is my i've 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 lost faith in toners i've lost faith in ahas bhas i just stopped using all of those things to be honest epi serum really is a ceramide cream uh, I'm sorry, I do not have the ingredients here, but it is a prescription. It's just a normal moisturizer, fragrance-free, but it is filled with ingredients that would repair your skin barrier and just keep it moisturized. So that really changed my skin. My goodness, it just changed my skin. Once my skin barrier healed, everything else just worked out by itself. To be honest, everything else just like fell into place. In place, in place okay next is hyperpigmentation so my biggest hyperpigmentation was here where honestly it's i guess it's not too too bad because i think everybody would get that natural shadow you see the natural shadow that's exactly where i have my hyperpigmentation and also a little bit in the corners of the mouth which is uh and that is it to be honest 
and oh i also had this one on my nose which i had forever like forever like since like school days like i'm talking about like ninth eighth grade since then so for that again hyperpigmentation castor oil not that every in, in anybody's claiming about it but i have heard people say like um if they have a acne if they put it on it just clears the the acne sometimes clears actually i do not have that it did not help me with my acne too but i'll tell you what i'm using i am sorry that is also a prescription maybe we'll talk about acne right away because i can quickly go through that like this somebody i see so many videos where they say acne i just put it on your acne spot and goes no it does not okay there are two kinds like there are i'm sure there are lo lots of different kinds of acne but i have experienced two kinds of acne like i'm gonna turn 37 in uh in two months so up to 37 i experienced two kinds one is my regular teen acne things where once a month cycle i get one acne it just literally three or four days the acne falls off and that high that pigmentation just like goes away yes i was young i was 12 13 um wait 12 to like i would say 24 12 to 24 years this was my actual acne i would get one big pimple a month and then it will fall off and the skin will just regenerate just uh, for more i mean you know i was young better collagen generation right so it was good but after 25 the acne game changed for me because it was like hormonal something balance off or whatever the reason uh it was horrible it was like big giant like swelling like if i get an acne here this whole area would be swollen if i get an acne here this area would be swollen if i get an acne here this area would be like swollen like big swollen acne so painful no castor oil did not help it did not help it does not help you really need to go see a doctor if you have serious acne and painful ones i use clindamycin and benzoyl peroxide for my acne and in the morning and tretinoin at night honestly though, i feel clindamycin benzoyl peroxide kind of like doesn't like help it right away like it takes two or three days but tretinoin i don't know it like can't, i know tretinoin people say it like aggravates your skin and goes crazy but for me after using it like so many years i feel it calms my skin down i'm telling you it's a magical product if i use this if i have a very very swollen acne like 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 i said swelling of one part of my face right put this on the next day it would be so calm it would like more smut so much smaller like amazing and of course retinone does helps with hyperpigmentation with wrinkles and fine lines and just overall just a smooth canvas right makes your skin into like a smooth canvas and then you can do whatever you want on top of your skin after that makeup or go uh au naturel whatever you like so yes i forgot to bring my sunscreen because that is also part of hyperpigmentation re regimen okay let's talk about the real hyperpigmentation that like dark just like a patch a patch of darkness in your face castor oil did not help honestly i didn't even see what was happening until it was i had real real hyperpigmentation on my face i honestly i don't think i didn't even pay attention um and in fact using castor oil during the daytime to combat my dryness and my dry spots probably in fact attracted more heat uh, more light and heat and trapped it and causing more hyperpigmentation on my skin so again you go see a doctor that's what i did and uh my, my doctor i mean some doctors just give you just hydroquinone but my doctor gave me like a combination this one has hydroquinone niacinamide tretinoin and flu fluosino i'm sorry the letters are kind of like rubbed off but there's another one in there so this is what i use for just pot treat not my entire face just pot treat wherever i have here here in the corners of the mouth 
and that is it so in fact there is a lot of hyperpigmentation created by the eczema itself from over scratching and itching uh that also i have one in my neck i don't know if you can see right there do you see that that particular spot right there was created by eczema i put it put, put just one like half a dot half a dot of that cream just right that the hydroquinone cream right there and it's actually getting much much better it used to be so dark and also had it here and it's like gone completely look at that it's like it's really really good on my face it's kind of faded the one here is kind of faded but it's not completely gone it's a really really dark patch and that's fine too to be honest that's fine and for hyperpigmentation i have in I mean, I always used uh, sunscreen. I never not use sunscreen. I always did use sunscreen, but this past year, I made it a point to use it every two hours. Earlier, I would put sunscreen on, put makeup on, and I was just like focused on makeup that, yes, I would like, is the sunscreen really like staying put? Is it really giving protection? I would forget about it. I would like put sunscreen on and just go about my day for eight nine hours outdoors and then yeah but nowadays i carry maybe i want to do like a little video of what my outdoor skincare pouch is like i don't take it with me during like the cooler months i only take it during the warmer months uh so it has a few things in there maybe i'll just like um show it to you i'll make a video on that so and during the daytime these are little things that i kind of discovered recently there's a brand called may love uh, this is a fade away brightening serum this is actually green you see that um it's kind of very slimy <laughs> i really like the texture oh i'm sorry <laughs> it's like very smells like green mint like sun, like greens you know how like greens and grass like you know, smells like and then there's also this minty smell but uh, this has a lot of really, really researched ingredients like kojic acid, uh, hyaluronic acid, alpha, al alpha arbutin, a lot of really, really good ingredients. And this kind of like, like, I don't know, it kind of brightened my face when I put this on. I really like it. This is my second bottle. Mela also has a glow maker antioxidant serum. This has vitamin C and ferulic acid. This is not like, you see, I've had this. You see the color of the vitamin C serum? I've had this for, I think, six weeks now, and it's still going good. And not like the Drunk Elephant's vitamin C serum, which comes home. I've never received Drunk Elephant Serum this light yellow. It's always like an orange when I get it. I would buy it fresh, like an open and see and it would be like orange. Or even if it's like not like a dark orange, it turns orange in like in a, in a week or two. But this one is really, really good. And this is so thin. This this uh, product is this also has vitamin E by the way. It's just so thin that you can use it as a toner, and look at it. It's basically water. It's so watery. I love this product. I use these two during the day actually, just to kind of like boost and like a clear give me that clear skin, and also like you know like give me a boost with the hyperpigmentation that I have. So. so all of these these are my skin problems and my skin type that we talked about and castor oil just do not help with any of them to be honest like i said it has one job that is done really 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 good which is skin softening since softening you wouldn't feel the same skin softening if you have eczema you wouldn't feel the skin softening if you have i mean i guess you would feel it if you have hyperpigmentation acne or acne scars you're not going to feel any of that you you, you are not going to really realize the difference that castor oil makes which is skin softening if your skin has any kind of trouble you would have to properly take care of your skin and then use castor oil at the end just the teeniest tiniest bit but still honestly it's too much work too much problems and like too little result for way too much work if you want to know every single product problem i encountered i will leave the link down below for that video everything 
wrong with castor oil why I stopped using it down below you can take a look at it I cover every which way that I've used with castor oil. I think I may have even left out one thing I think I just remember something but I will talk about it because I'm gonna make a video differences between coconut oil and castor oil so we'll talk about that so yes there you have it I really hope this video was helpful for you guys how and because I, I know castor oil I don't want to hate on castor oil because I don't hate castor oil. Instead, I wanted to give you guys how, what products actually helped me. Castor oil did not help me with any of these things, any of the skin conditions and any of the things that I face and I was struggling with. I used them with castor oil, but no zero results. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and share them with you. Uh, let me know down below. Uh, what you think and what your opinions are definitely come out here and share them and i will see you guys very soon bye